Shoshone Ice Cave, Idaho. There's the big hole in the ground. Yeah, that bridge. Break down collapsed trench. <laughs> Is that how big of a hurry you're in? Pigeon. Two pigeons. That's what he would use to. Alright guys, uh, so right here we're looking into a collapsed lava tube. Uh, so basically at first it was just a big cave, and then when an earthquake hit it all collapsed, and then this is what became of it. Now if you look over here into this direction, you guys can see these two hills. The one over onto the right plateaus makes a U-shape, then plateaus again. And then the one over off to the left of that is just a really nice, big, long, dark, flat hill. And this is the Shoshone Volcano. It's a shield-type volcano, which means it's not going to be very big or pointy. And this also means that during the eruption, instead of just exploding, it's going to build up inside of lava and slowly ooze out everywhere. And that's how all this lava rock is so divided out. Now we have... Oh, sorry, what was that? When did this happen? Um, so all of this happened about 15,000 years ago. 15,000 um, But So basically, uh, we have two types of lava rock here today. If you look underneath the railing right here, we have some more jagged and individual a-a uh -uh lava rock. And this is what most of our trails are going to be made of. And then if you look over here to your left, we have this nice big lava rock. And this is going to be a lot more dense and compact than the a uh -uh lava rock. Uh, but depending on where the lava is placed after the eruption, it could take from one day to very many years to cool. Um, and then also last time this volcano erupted was about 15,000 years ago, and it is now extinct. Uh, but do we have any questions here? What's that square over there? Uh, so we'll be going over there in a minute, you'll okay. see a little easier. Uh, but we just used to keep buffalo bones in there, uh, before we took them out, just because people will mess with them. Uh, but they are actually over in our, in our museum if we want to go check those out when we're done. Okay. All right, guys, so right here we have some life size versions of the Cordelian people. Uh, they lived here about 16,000 years ago, and you can find their remains all the way from here to Texas. Now, if you look in her lap, she has a tool called a pestle and mortar. This is what they used to grind up most of their food with. Uh, but unfortunately, a lot of this lava rock would get stuck inside their food. And if you want to grind out their teeth really bad, go 
but for two, since this lava rock is so high in iron, whenever they consumed it, it would cause organ failure, and they only lived to be about 18 to 22 years old. Uh, now, we don't actually have any full proof that they really were called the Cordelians, but they were kind of in the time period or in their transition period between cavemen and the Native Americans. And then also in her lap is one of the actual pestilent borders that we found from them. Uh, but do we have any questions here? All right, perfect, let's continue. Notice how the roof is like sagging down over there. There's not much growing on top either. how the ground so sags right in over here. here. Are quiet, for the most, uh, so just be careful as you're coming down right here. Never. Those are the black hose and a silver one. Oops. Just a loose rock up there. There's the entrance is a door to prevent airflow, well, to keep it cold inside. Oops. 